Kia Carnival, a typical minivan, first lit up in the spring of 1999. Built on the Ford Windstar platform and originally designed for the North American open spaces, he found refuge in the Russian market, largely due to a reasonable pricing policy. The price of a new car, $24,000 to $28,000, attracted not only corporate clients, but many cars were registered in private garages. Most of the owners were not disappointed in the purchase, so at first the carnivals almost did not get into the secondary market. Indeed, it is difficult to find a worthy alternative to the seven-seater Korean car. Already in the database, the car had air conditioning, an electric driver's seat, a second heater, ABS, two frontal airbags, electric windows and mirrors, and much more. Today for the car 2001 to 2002, they ask from $13.5 to $16,000, a very tempting offer for a large family with an average income, and the rest of the warranty five years or 120 gas km, which is inherited by the new owner, is a good bonus. The first batches of cars were assembled only in Korea, in their VIN code the first letters KNE. Since 2001, Carnival has been produced at Aptoder in Kaliningrad, VIN starts with X4X. There are no complaints about the build quality of either. The only serious drawback is the low corrosion resistance of the hood and fifth door. Already after two or three seasons of winter operation, paint on the hood becomes cloudy, spiders appear. The tailgate lasts a little longer, but it also suffers from salt dirt, rust appears in the handle framing area and down the roller. Surprisingly, there are no complaints about the rest of the body, moreover, corrosion in other places is a hint of an emergency past. The large salon of the carnival is difficult to warm up. At temperatures below 10 to 15 degrees Celsius, this will take more than 20 minutes. Simultaneous switching on of both heaters, the second one at the back, only leads to cooling of the coolant and switching the thermostat to a small circle. The result is foggy glass. It is strange that this happens not only with diesel. Removing the cabin ventilation filter for the winter helps a little, at least, fogging is reduced, and the element itself will remain fresh. We also recommend that you regularly remove moisture from the rugs, at least by putting diapers from old newspapers. The choice of engines was limited to two, gasoline 165 horsepower and diesel 144 horsepower, see model history. Other modifications with minor differences in hardware were not officially delivered. In terms of traction capabilities, both motors cope with the 2.5 tons of gross weight assigned to them. Diesel is especially good, showing almost complete indifference to loads. There are three belts in the timing drive of a gasoline engine. The main belt, leading one camshaft in each head, is changed after 50,000 km belts in the heads, after 100,000 km. We change the tension rollers for sure, but the pump, every other time. The only auxiliary polydyne belt is equipped with an automatic tensioner and is replaced by hanging the engine and removing its front support. Keeping in mind the strict environmental standards of the United States, the Koreans flashed the engine control unit with a margin leaving no way to bring the nose software into line with Russian reality. From our fuel, the controller goes crazy, the slightest sneeze is perceived by it as an emergency, and it seems that with a working engine, the check engine lights up. This is not a cause for serious concern, often just changing the spark plugs is enough. Although it's simple, just a figure of speech, you can only get to the sin of the candles in the right, from the flywheel side, head only with the special tool. Even for professionals, this work takes 1.7 more mo hours. Do not fork out for expensive, platinum, better make sure. That they changed all six, sometimes they cheat on the service. It happens that oxygen sensors are poisoned by domestic benzio, there are four of them, two per branch of the exhaust system, but on average they live more than 80,000 kilometers. In hot weather, the engine cooling fan has the right not to turn off. This is not a defect, but a reason to check the cleanliness of the surface of the radiator. By 70,000, the idle speed regulator may coke, it is enough to rinse it. Diesel engine, also with the timing belt dry. Although there is only one belt, it changes in agony, according to the standard for 5.5 standard hours. The frequency is the same, 50,000 kilometers. The air conditioning compressor is listed separately. Unfortunately, the diesel engine is even more critical to the quality of the fuel. The ingress of dirt and water into the injection pump is a verdict. Repairs can ruin the owner by four to $4,000 and separate them from the car for a long time, because in addition to replacing components, 
it is necessary to expel dirt and chips from the entire fuel system that got there through the return. We recommend refueling only at large, proven gas stations and using the leaky moly additive recommended by the dealer. It replaces sulfur and modern environmentally friendly diesel fuels, ensuring proper lubrication of the injection pump. The cooling system of both engines is designed for an overpressure of 1.1 bar, but it happens that the main radiator cannot withstand it and spontaneously expands. It is harmless to change its plug marked 1.1 to 0.9 in advance. A gasoline engine sometimes sins with a leak in the pressure pipe of the pump. Guilty aged ceiling ring, plumbing type design. The detail is cheap, but it's not easy to get to the very collapse of the cylinders. The exhaust system is very durable, however, sometimes the catalyst diverges along the seam. Do not rush to replace it, practice shows that it is enough to re-weld the seam. The Japanese automatic Nivek, Nivek has been doing its job for years, without giving itself away, and only once every 40,000 kilometers asks for an oil change. But the mechanics does not let you get bored, breakdowns happen even by 40,000, mainly due to bearings. Yes, and the clutch is not happy with reliability. The driven disc lives 80 to 90,000 kilometers, but it used to be that replacement was required even by 20. Experts say that these are isolated cases of marriage and that today there is no such problem. The suspension does not raise any complaints either in terms of driving performance or reliability. The front McPherson is made with a good margin of safety. At the rear, the axle beam oscillates on four trailing arms and a pan-hard transverse link. Anti-roll bars, on both axles. The camber is only adjustable from the front. All moving parts of the suspension serve more than 100,000 and do not bother with either knocks or backlashes. Shock absorbers often sweat, but do not rush to change them, the same fate awaits new ones. So they work, by the sweat of their brow, up to 100,000, managing to normally resolve conflicts between the body and the road. Wheel bearings are a weak link, they rarely live more than 50,000 kilometers, often the reason for their failure is the driver's overestimation of the carrying capacity of the carnival. This is another drawback of the huge cabin. Wheel drives, if the anthers are not torn, serve for a long time, more than 150,000. It happens that inexperienced tire fitters tear wheel studs. There is only one recommendation, look into the instructions more often. The values backslash you 200 b backslash you 200 boff the tightening torques in it are not abstract numbers. The brake system and steering, with proper care and timely replacement of fluids, do not cause much trouble. ABS intervenes a little earlier than expected, however, a lot depends on the tires. The front pads serve an average of 20 30th thousand km, automatic slash manual. By the way, if you rarely use the handbrake, the cables turn sour. One of them passes over the fuel tank and is difficult to change. There are problems with the steering rack. If she sweats, wait for a plentiful leak and be ready for a replacement. The officials are not engaged in the restoration of the node and other workshops, unfortunately, take the money, and give a meager guarantee. Kia hijackers do not attract. Some cars were produced without an immobilizer, so it is advisable to check with the dealer for details. And if you decide to keep the car in the garage, do not forget to compare the height of the car and the gate before leaving, so that the crumpled roof does not overshadow the joy of buying.